Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This phone call is sponsored by GoDaddy.com. This is Chris. Hey, I got through. Yeah. Sweet. All right, this is Ross. Hey, Ross. How's it going? Going well. Good. Uh, got a couple questions for you. Uh huh. Going from XP and Vista to Windows 7. What does Windows 7 bring to the table for, say, an average, like an intermediate level computer user? Um, I mean, a, a variety of features, certainly. What would you say would be the, the, big, most, the most prominent features? Right, the most prominent features are going to, you know, be the uh, uh, taskbar and the start menu. Those are the most prominent features. And, right. uh, and they're, they're definitely worth it, uh, certainly. Some people are complaining about uh, the, the fact that you can't go and, and run Windows 7 start menu taskbar kind of like you could way back in the day, uh, you know, like Windows 95 style a taskbar start menu. Um, uh -huh. There are some options that have kind of disappeared. I say, you know, the, it's about time they disappeared. I think the, uh, the despite a, a few relatively troubling UI issues uh, with uh -huh. the uh, start menu, uh, I think, uh, for the most part, uh, the uh, the new start menu and the taskbar make it a very compelling upgrade. Then let me see if I can, I'm going to do my best to demonstrate for you. I'm running Windows here in the basic mode as this screen kind of flips on. Sorry about that. Um, Fine. The, uh, let, me, let me just show you, uh, let me see if I can, I, I'm going to try to demonstrate it. So right now you see there's, there's a, a good amount of padding between each one of these most recently used programs. But when I flip okay. down to, there, I, I'm, I'm going to see if I can illustrate this without going too far over. Uh, let me zoom out all the way again. If I click uh, all programs and zoom in, there's less space between these items. So right. toggling back and forth between here, there's a bigger gap, there's less of a gap between the items. It's just, it's just, over like not just an oversight, it's just epic fail. Uh, you know, in terms of design, they they had the same problem in Windows Vista, and I complained about it too. They didn't listen, but I definitely complained about it. They, there's some UI elements that just just seem to be kind of unfinished. But that being said, functionality-wise, uh, you know, the jump lists, uh, you know, as you see, if I if I hover over some of these uh, uh, basically programs, if they have jump list compatibility, you'll see different options, different tasks appear from the start menu. There's PowerShell. Uh, run as administrator, import system modules, etc. Getting started, Microsoft Office Word 2007, so there's the recent. Uh, then, of course, you've got the taskbar. So as I open up different windows, let's go Control-N. I think that'll work. There we go. Now, since, again, I'm using uh, the basic uh, arrow interface, it doesn't have all the fancy uh, colors uh, and, and uh, you know 3D effects. Uh, and style that uh, the full-on Arrow experience has. That's because I'm running it inside a virtual machine. Uh, the jump list here is just easier to manage, and, and it's even easier, and it looks cleaner with the screenshots of the open windows, uh, you know, over, uh, you know, Vista and certainly over uh, XP in, in terms of how it handled items that were in, in this uh, taskbar of sorts. So, that, I mean, they, they just made a, a lot of uh, usable improvements, but most people are going to find the usable improvements less in the utilities they use on a daily basis and more in terms of navigation and looking for the things that they, they need to find. It's a big leap uh, specifically from XP. Uh, if you're using Vista or had been using Vista, it's less of a leap in terms of uh, functionality, but it's it's an incremental improvement. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, I think Charles called not too long ago, and you mentioned that he was probably the only Vista user that didn't have fun with it. Well, he's not the only one. Personally, I have not had any problems with it either. Wow. So that makes two of you. Yeah, yeah, but... It, it's not necessarily a matter of the fact that I love Vista. It's just the matter of the fact that there's I have no problems with it. Right. You tolerate and, it. Well, yeah, I guess I say, you could say I could tolerate it. Right. But um, I guess because I don't use my computer for too many things other than simple web, web browsing, um, playing games, and doing my college work. Sure. So I'm, I'm not into the high the in-depth features and everything, but as an operating system on its own, I think it works fine for what yeah. I need it for. It works okay. Seven's yeah. good. And um, 
I did a, re- a little bit of research when you mentioned uh, not too long ago about your Windows 7 coupons. Yes. And I found going through some site, some blog site called Wallet Pop, which I guess is for different deals and stuff. And I noticed that you, uh, at the website win741.com, if you are a college student with a college.edu email address, you can buy Windows 7 Home Premium for twenty nine ninety nine. Wow, that's outstanding. Yes, and I um, think that's official. I think that's from Microsoft. Yeah, it seems that way. They have yeah. privacy policy and all that stuff. And wow, it's, it's hosted by the Rice Company on behalf of Microsoft. Nice. Well, I definitely and, do uh, research, making sure they, that you know that is the case. Right, it's a digital download, and you can add I think fourteen dollars for an actual DVD. Nice. Um. As a Vista user that with no real problems with it, other than the fact that, I don't know if it's a, Wi- a Vista or NVIDIA problem, but my display driver likes to randomly crash and recover when I'm playing games. Um, other than that, so, would you suggest upgrading to 7 using that deal? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you have a chance Even to get Vista... I'm sorry, Vista. did I just say Vista? If you have a chance to get Windows 7 for $29, I'd definitely take advantage of that. Sweet. Okay. No, absolutely. And then I guess I had to pick up your uh, ebook after that, huh? Yes. At go.tagjag.com slash seven. Is that number seven? Or yeah. Seven? I, I think it's the number seven, but I'll probably go in and add the letter, or I'm sorry, the letter, the uh, word seven as well, uh, so that uh, people could go either way. Okie dokie. Cool. All right. Well, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for answering my question. Rock on, dude. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.